you can hear it. It's very wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread some fresh wood chips on top and we're also going to move the chickens after a while as well. We're going to move those to a different location to get them to eat some of the grasses. How are you doing? This Martin from Guidance for Life and Birdland Homestead. In this video I'm going to show you the importance of actually mulching your chickens or your chicken pen uh, to keep your eggs clean and keep the birds healthy too. So I'm going to show you what way we do it and we use something called deep litter mulch where you simply layer about uh, 8 to 12 inches or 20 to 30 centimeters of wood chips uh, into your chicken pen and actually let the uh, chickens uh, basically poop on it over the years and actually just work on it like just just scratch it and turn it into compost essentially when that happens you can actually either dig it out or you can simply uh, leave it in situ you can have a garden downhill from it so that the runoff of the rain actually uh, washes the nutrients down to your garden that's the way we have it set up here you can see here, that's our chickens. And they definitely could do with some fresh wood chips now. You can see here, it's kind of, it's been so, it's been so wet over the last six months or so, that um, the, even the mulch in here is actually very wet. But you can see here, downhill, down the slope, we got our garden. And that's eaten up all of the nutrients from the chickens that are being washed down the hill. Slowly but surely. And this is a slow process. It does take maybe a year or two. You can always just move the chickens on, do a chicken tractor job, and just move the electric fence and the chicken coops. Move those on and then just plant a garden here in this spot. We are probably going to do that too uh, in good time. Once we get them moved, we get them to eat all of these grasses here. See this here? I don't want to have to look after this garden and dig up all the roots when the chickens can take care of it all by themselves. So all I've got to do is move the coops over to here and the fence to here. So this kale here will be sacrificial and unfortunately some of the worms in this garden bed too. But it's, um, it's a good price to pay to get rid of all these weeds here uh, without having to actually do the put in the labour and pull up all those grass roots. So the way we're going to cover these, what we're going to use to cover the chicken pen again is wood chips. I've already got a wheelbarrow here. This is fresh willow wood chips that we just got delivered not long ago, a few days ago. I must actually inoculate it with some mycelium for wine cup or king strafaria. So this is actually the big pile. And we're going to move some of that over to the chickens and we also use it for the paths as well okay let's see if i can hold the camera at the same time Anything new? The chickens are very curious birds. They're always interested in new things. So let's see. Okay. You don't need to worry about spreading the wood chips in the pen because they'll pretty much do that. Block, block, block. One thing I do want to show you is what happens oh sorry sorry to disturb you uh, one thing i want to show you is once your if your pen chicken pen is actually dirty you can see here the eggs are also dirty because your feet are not kept clean so um, if you want to really clean eggs especially for glassing them like for preserving them to glass the eggs you simply put them into water with uh, some rehydrated lime or dehydrated lime i should say but you cannot use dirty eggs. You have to use extremely clean and unwashed eggs. Yeah, see those? These are not the cleanest of eggs. So, can't wait to clean up the pen by simply dropping a bit of mulch on. I 
A good thick layer is fine. There's no problem. You cannot overdo it. You can put on as much wood chips as you have. And the chickens will eventually turn it into compost for your garden. So it's kind of a whole system design or a permaculture approach to um, basically get all the chicken poop recycled and mixed with the carbon and that breaks down the carbon and it actually makes it bioavailable for the plants. All right. Despite the fact that it's sunny out today, it's still really cold, but uh, I'm getting away without a jacket, but only with a super thick woolly jumper. So um, I'm going to just get on with it and move a few wheelbarrows for them and I'll just show you after. All right, that was 15 wheelbarrows. I am absolutely roasting. So take a look. It looks an awful lot better now than it was. And it's a lot cleaner. And you keep on producing compost. Hello, rooster. He's a, he's a bit worried now that we're following him. So here you can see what the ground turns into. Scorched earth. No weeds, anyway. No grasses whatsoever. Chickens are a great way to recycle all your weeds from the garden that you're picking up because if you throw them in the compost pile they might just grow again. This chicken coop here is very old now. We've had it for really about nine years now, I believe it was. Actually ten years now this, this coop is old now. Oh, this is the wetter side. Doesn't look that good. The other side is a bit better. Bianca painted, painted it after we had finished building it. This other one here is just a little small one with some polyurethane plastic on top. But we're going to rebuild. We're going to build one big coop for them all with wire mesh in the bottom, so that we don't have as much cleaning to do. I'm going to move the chickens over to here, try and get them to sort out all those grasses over there. And unfortunately, of course, that means I would be sacrificing the worms and the kale in that garden bed. We have plenty of kale in other parts of the garden, but the worms I am not too happy about losing. Be aware that, of course, when you get your chickens to eat the weeds and scratch them up, scratch up the roots, in your garden you can do that and it's very beneficial to do that but you're also sacrificing the worms underneath so of course you think sure the worms are great food for the chickens and that's true but i think uh, worms would be better or way more productive to be left to do what they normally do out here in the garden and in the soil and um, we have a lot of worms here and we must make a video just about worms again we did make one before, how to plant worms in your garden. So all this here will be gone with the chickens. And we'll be just about ready to plant up once our seedlings are ready. Probably at the end of March. Maybe some in April. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video. We highly appreciate your support. See you the next time. Bye bye. Look, 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 here, come, come, come. This way, come on, this way, come on, come on, come on.